What if we swap Curie's body and Darlene's body? Put Curie in Darlene's body. I don't think Curie would appreciate the many piercings. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Amari. We've got someone to show you. Once they get down here. It's a robot. I mean, that, a ghoul. Not, 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 not the ghoul. The ghoul... I mean, you, you probably know Hancock, but it's not him. Here's the robot. No, it's not this. It's not this robot. It's a different robot. It's a different robot. Okay. Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You, you want to what? <laughs> Is she serious? Bye, Curie. Please come back. She has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her important research as a robot. Apparently. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. Do we? Okay. It's how the loungers work. Her oh. personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. Got to find a synth? I mean, so it is possible. Likely, even. We just need a synth. And I may be able to help with that. We brought Darlene. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Uh. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. Sounds like a lot of science fiction nonsense, but let's do it! We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. So relaxing. Hopefully this caretaker will approve of the operation. Goodbye, Kiri, my beautiful little cinnamon bud. Alright, well I guess that means we could go do something else while we're waiting for the caretaker to show up here. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Who are you? Good neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I, well, what do you mean, escape? Reliving old memories. Like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud vs. Captain Cosmos. And then my dad got violent. Even Pa was there. You ever listened to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. I have never listened to it. You should. <laughs> They're the best detective stories in the whole world. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So he can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Like what kind of plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Yeah, we already have that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I actually have that costume already. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvey Blake. I don't watch movies But the anymore. Shroud is strong, capable. Whoever puts on the Shroud costume becomes the Shroud, and then become capable as a consequence. Yeah, that's how it works. Have you ever watched the Santa Claus? It's a Tim Allen movie, so I don't blame you if you didn't. <laughs> you up for being a Silver Shroud? <sighs> no. You just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. I don't think I've been in a blimp. I've been in a helicopter that was shot down by super mutants. Only a matter of time before the Pridwin crashes. Why me, though? No one else would help me find the costume. Even though it sounds crazy, you kid. No, I didn't. I just brought it here. The whole world's fallen. Fallen hard. We gotta fight to make the place better. So you in? It just looks like I get to be the Silver Shroud. 
the costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Duh, you didn't have to yell at man. Jeez, it's echoes in here really bad. But I guess, yes, time to fight crime. Yeah, time to fight. Oh, look, he's got a Silver Shroud bobblehead. That's fun. Oh, that's cute. Look at that thing. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Nice. Look at me, I'm the, I'm the Silver Shroud. Silver Shroud had a camera, had a, had a light on his shoulder, didn't he? Pretty sure. Yeah, that's that that's there. Yeah. He had that. He also had a pit boy. I mean, does the Silver Shroud have one singular outfit or is it like Yeah, and I'll wear the I'll wear the green one for the Miyazaki film. <laughs> for the Miyazaki adaptation of the Silver Shroud. <laughs> Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. Crimes are up because the mayor's out of town. Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Emily? Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. This is the first I've heard of that. Death is coming for you, Wayne. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent. I, I mean, they probably will be able to tell that I'm coming for them if they can hear the radio. Hey, Wayne? What just happened? Are you Wayne? I don't know. We're firing bullets down an alleyway and hoping for the best. The Silver Shroud has come for you, Wayne! I probably should have talked to you first! This gun sucks! Probably should have talked to him, because he... Might not have been as guilty as we were led to believe. Oh, yeah, I probably should have. Did Darlene I mean, get stuck in the... Darlene's teleporter. Darlene meets you at your location. Time <laughs> <for Jetson>. <laughs> <laughs> she just teleports to... <laughs> Holy moly, the silver shroud in the flesh. Oh, no, death is coming for me. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, Wayne. We're here to met with you tie in your shoe. <laughs> What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long, Wayne! What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with I'm me. I'm not sure if you're guilty of the crime you're accused of, but this is in self-defense, so we're justified! Ooh. The Silver Shroud now uses an AK! Never mind, the Silver Shroud doesn't use that gun because it has a scope on it. It was gross. Oh, wait, am I supposed to. What, what? Oh, I gotta leave a calling card. That's right. Okay, you, you dropped something on his body. That was a calling card. Yep. The Silver Shroud has done it! So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. I thought Bobby was dead. He says he's got a whole new market. Kids. It's still Bobby's Even house. with his garbage cams, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. <laughs> We can't let AJ kill kids. We could. Whatever. <laughs> These doors. Was it inside? Was it inside to like- AJ's oh. connected with powerful friends. Oh, hello. Don't be a sap. Play nice. Uh. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them <laughs> trespasses. Uh, are you AJ, the guy that sells children? Yeah, that's me. I'm a entrepreneur. I'm making a new market. Chems for kids, I call it. Cherry flavored jet, bubblegum mentats. Them Diamond City kids just eat them up. Don't you realize that your chems are killing kids? That's the canonical reason why there aren't any kids in this game. No, there aren't kids in this game, remember? There, we, we, we did a bunch of work for Shen. Yeah, like two or three of them per city. Like, that's oh, not a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's not much. Today you face the Silver Shroud! Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? That seems reasonable, I suppose. Stop selling to children, miscreant, or face my wrath! 
Screw you. Oh, all right, time for the role play. Oh my God! <laughs> Ow! The silver shroud is going airborne. The silver shroud had friends that took care of it for him. Oh, whoa! He was still alive. Now just rob everything on him like the silver shroud does, because the silver shroud does that. Yep, yep. Crime fighting doesn't pay very well. <laughs> That a silver shroud costume? Yeah. Hey, uh, no judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? Yeah, yeah, I know. It is. It's you can't really judge funny. people for wearing things. You're wearing no things. That's true. And God, look. Look, I'm one of your townspeople. First Finn, now Bobby. We're all naked. Hancock's racking up the body count. Fuck them. Finn and Bobby acted like assholes and got what they had coming. It doesn't make you nervous? What if Hancock decides he doesn't like the way you're acting next? <sighs> like that's ever gonna happen. You think Hancock would ever hurt this face? <laughs> I mean, he's standing right there. Sitting. Sitting right there. <laughs> I'm naked. <laughs> Woo! So Bobby's dead now. The Silver Shroud is running around in his heavily stained whitey tighties. It's like a big old poop spot on the back of them. <laughs> yup, that's because they're never washed. That's disgusting. You're filthy. <laughs> that's the new... Ah, oh, yes, this is the rebooted Silver Shroud. I... It's the Silver Shroud reboot. Galaxy News. Radio. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. Oh, jeez. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel hey, Charlie. You ever get the Shroud's that sure to interrogate him to find what? the evil doers where You need something to take the edge off. The thing with the Okay, yeah. guess we're gonna go hunt no, down what's... Kendra. To the third oh, rail! Yeah. I got that all. Justice won't escape you for very long, evil viewers! Any friend of Mayor Hancock is a friend of the Third Rail. That's, yes, and I am a friend of, of Hancock. Probably not for long, though, with all this goody-two-shoes shit I'm doing. Yeah, he's, he's not gonna be happy. You step through the gate, you got balls. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? <laughs> um, you look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice! Justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. I guess it's time for some refreshments. No, darling, we're going to murder somebody. No, it's time for vengeance, not refreshments. Free, man. Um, nope, and some wild dogs have wandered down. Yep, we'll just take care of them as well. Ow, I'm stuck on things. The Silver Shroud is stuck. Oh my god! <laughs> Ow! God, Darlene! Holy shit! Jesus! Alright, cool. Here it is. Here's where we're going. Ah, yes. Apartments that are now leasing. Good. The Silver Shroud needs some... Uh, I was going to say equity, but you don't really get equity from an apartment. Want to talk it out? No, of course. You never want to talk it out. Nope. Never want to talk it out. <laughs> Jesus, Darlene. Just unleash Darlene. Don't even get involved. The Silver Shroud takes the elevator, and everyone crams in with him. They the Silver Shroud will stand directly in the elevator, so that all they have to do is open the elevator doors and mow us all down. You always like this, you weirdo. I'm very weird. Is this uh, where we're supposed to go? I'm not sure. No, it isn't. The Silver Shroud went the wrong way. The Silver Shroud does not know how to navigate. Yeah, now the Silver Shroud uses a revolver, and the Silver Shroud isn't going to talk like I'm that for a little bit, because it was starting to get kind of grating. Silver Shroud. Anyway, ahem, hey, you. You're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Wayne, Jeez! Oh, so you want to uh, then we'll just put you down. Like the rabbit dog you are! Good job, Silver Shroud. 
Also, give me that MP5. Contract, Shelly Tiller. Look at that calling card. Look at that. Oh, it's actually a little image That's yeah, a little poster. Neato. Also, the Silver Shroud uses a revolver. In it. Oh, oh, it wait, there's a playing card. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, The Silver Shroud has a silver erection. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I thought silver was supposed to be a soft metal. <laughs> Quickly, we must get to County Crossing and stop Shelly Tiller from being assassinated! Ah, yes. Keep joking, Hendy. Shelly! Shelly, we're here to yeah. save you! you from the ghouls that are obviously here, yes! We'll take them out quickly, and then get to you. And, and then we'll pass judgment on your life and see if we want to kill you or not. Shelly, we're here to save you! Possibly. Some very bad people may be coming. It's not safe here. Yes, I know. There's there's very bad people coming. We're here to save you. I don't know you. Just just go away. So assassinating Shelly Tiller was optional. We don't have to do it. Oh. Okay. Well, the uh, Silver Shroud doesn't assassinate people. However, the Silver Shroud does leave a bunch of landmines down so that so that no one can assassinate you. Don't worry. The Silver Shroud will keep you safe by placing these landmines very precariously close to your body. Now, no one can possibly assassinate you if there's landmines present. Hang on. We'll put one more down here, right by the front door. I'm out of landmines. All right. Well, you'll be safe now. The Silver Shroud is having a silver stroke. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have ingested so much silver. <laughs> the Silver Shroud's language comprehension is not high. <laughs> I see. Galaxy news. Another special radio. Oh. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. Bobby No Nose is dead. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. What? He does? Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Hancock's been traveling with us. Galaxy. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Hey. Got my attention. Playing dress up is fun and all, but you walked into something a whole lot bigger. Those lowlifes you've been taking out for Kenny Boy? Y yeah. They all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's gonna want some good old fashioned revenge. You dig? What a I coincidence. Mean, okay, who is it? His name's Sinjin. He's taken two bit raider outfits and made them scary. Ooh. Small fish now, but if left alone. I happen to know where some of his other boys are. Smiling Kate operates outside of Bunker Hill. And Northy's got a pad over at Prospect Hill. You take them out, and maybe we can find out where the big guy himself is stashed. Good neighbor would rest a whole lot easier with him out of the picture. Sinjin, huh? All right, I'm up for some community service. That sounds fun. You take care of Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show some gratitude. You feel me? M maybe, as the mayor, you should have done literally anything about that. Who really runs this town if all these people are working for one guy, and it's not you? The Silver Shroud will return tomorrow! Bang! Same bat time, same ch silver channel. Sil silver bat. Close enough, you're good. Alright. <laughs> you're gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna have modded in like Mel's head on a pike outside of Hancock's building. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep me waiting, baby. I mean, I won't lie. Bobby and Mel severed head. <laughs> I won't lie, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs>